I was definitely the go, go, go kind of person, um, running marathons and half marathons and, um, working pretty tirelessly and, um, creating and devising theater. So kind of every hour of my life was full of something. So when I got COVID in March of 2020, I, I was terrified. It was really early on in the pandemic. And um, I don't think I understood quite what it was in the way that I do now. And I thought I was going to die. And um, I, I missed work for six weeks um, and could barely get out of bed. I think that the, um, the actual bug was probably around for two, maybe three weeks. I slowly got back to work basically after the, um, the FMLA, like the, the work time that I could spend off was out and worked a couple hours in the morning and then just collapsed from exhaustion and pain. Um, and that went on for three months and then four months and then five months. And it was very slow improvements, but like micro small and one step forward, two steps back. And that went on for a year and a half until I found DNRS. For the majority of my life, have had this sort of unhealthy obsession with food that I think triggered physical manifestations of it. So digestive issues and trouble digesting my food um, and pain, um, stomach pain. That went on, you know, prior to long COVID and um, then about five years prior to long COVID, woke up one morning and sort of had this fl these flu-like symptoms that didn't go away for um, years and, you know, had it sort of deemed as fibromyalgia, didn't understand what was going on with it, had some varied success with it. So when I got COVID in March of 2020, these things were sort of on the back burner a little bit. And, um, I got sick with COVID. I got really, um, really bad chest congestion and, um, you know, your typical COVID stuff, um, stomach stuff and, um, a lack of smell and taste and fatigue, major fatigue and, um, temperature and, those fibromyalgia and food sensitivities just really flared up. You know, I remember meeting with the medical doctor at like six months post COVID. And, and I was like, I still feel like I did three weeks after getting this. And she was sort of like, I don't know what to tell you. You shouldn't be. You know? <laughs> it was like, oh, oh, well, that is terrifying. There was just this overwhelming fear, fear of any sort of physical symptom that would come, fear that it would get worse, swinging from anxiety to depression constantly, um, but mostly in a state of high anxiety. And having long COVID impacted my relationships with my friends and family. There was a lot of pity. There was some frustration with people in my family that were just like, just stop it. Just snap out of it. You're fine. I was really frustrated and really angry and really exhausted and sort of mad at myself that I couldn't figure this out the way that I figured everything else out in my life in the past, which was by just pushing harder. You know, I remember, um, all the way back into, you know, my early twenties of going to see acupuncturists and herbalists and naturopaths and chiropractors and, um, you know, adjusting my food, you know, one of those chicken egg things where it's like, well, it's gotta be the food, you know? So I'll just cut out gluten. I'll just cut out dairy. I'll just cut out gluten and dairy. I'll just cut out gluten and dairy and sugar. Um, and then going to nutritionists, you know, and having them sort of reinforce that, yes, the food, you got to do better, do better. <laughs> I got involved with a sort of um, chiropractor slash muscle testing healer um, when I, when the fibromyalgia kicked in prior to COVID and um, 
was pretty devoted to her for um, three or four years. I would give her, um, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars a month. So thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars over the years. I would have six to 12 herbal supplements that I would take every day, um, up to 30 to 40 pills. I think part of my digestive issues were because my body was trying to process all of those supplements. So t- a total bill, I would say somewhere around 20 or $30,000 over the years. I mean, everybody has a different bottom of a barrel, but for me, it was basically starving myself. Um, and, um, thinking that that would help fix my, <laughs> my body. I was scrolling through, um, an autoimmune protocol blog one night as I was watching TV and this article popped up about DNRS. Um, and I just like knew that this was important. <sighs> So I clicked on it and I started reading and I think I bought the DVDs the next day. And I just immediately was like a lightning bolt. I was like, okay, okay, here we go. So I found DNRS in June of 2021. I dove in head first and I felt hope and I cried through the videos and I just felt and still do just joyful. And that I think was where I started to go, oh, like I didn't know that was a thing. I knew what it was in moments, but a sustained joy, um, laughing for the sake of laughing, right? And so that peace came before a lot of the actual physical healing did for me. It was the shift of, I don't have to be afraid of these symptoms. The first sort of marker of success for me was about two months in, and it was that my digestion was calming down. I would say in about six months, I was sleeping better than I had in my entire life. And I would say about nine or 10 months in, I thought, okay, this, this, this long COVID thing is, it's done. It's completely over. And I am unpeeling things from prior, right? So the, the fibromyalgia thing was gone. It started to then really become a healing journey for me and food. It was a year in that I really clicked and thought, oh, like, I don't have to be afraid of food. And with with limbic system healing, it is a bumpy ride. It was for me, at least. It is not linear. And it was a success and then three days of failure. Three successes, three days of success. You know, it's just, it's it's so normal. That's, I've heard it from everyone and it was my experience too. But in terms of my life, I mean, I have energy, I have joy, I have great sleep. My relationships with family members are incredibly harmonious. I just, I prioritize my nervous system. And that doesn't mean I don't love my friends and family. I love them so much. And I take such good care of all of them, but I take better care of myself. And that's not selfish. That's important. The result of it is that I feel I've, I'm a better wife and sister and daughter. You know, I've, I've gotten married since healing from DNRS. I traveled down to Mexico and snorkeled for a week straight. Um, uh, I've had, I've eaten ice cream and cake and pie and whatever I want. I eat whatever I want. And it is so liberating so that stuff has been, you know, sort of the, the sort of like gold star winning. Um, but the, the thing about what's changed about my life that is the most profound is very invisible. And it's like my relationship with myself. 
I mean, there's a, there's nothing that the world has that I can't handle. And even the hard stuff, right? Like this isn't about unicorns and rainbows. It's not toxic positivity. That's not what I'm doing with it. It's about a whole life and working with your limbic system in a way where the whole life is safe, even the hard stuff. I got COVID again and and have taken up some brain retraining again and am doing great and feeling fully well again in, you know, a couple of weeks. One of the things that is important and magical about DNRS is the end that Annie talks about. This is not a program that you're supposed to use for the rest of your life. I think there's a lot of things out there where you are asked to continue to chronically fix yourself all your life. And I just, I love that this is a program that you get to graduate from. And at the same time, when you want to pick up the tools, they're right there, right? Like I just did that. I just been doing brain retraining a little bit again, and it feels really great. And I'll set it down when I want to. And I think it, it, that, that moment when you decide like, okay, I'm done with this. I just want to really put it out there that that's a safe place to, that to end doing DNRS when the time is right is a really powerful and important thing that you can trust. The universe is a friendly place. Great. And COVID is still a thing and hard things happen. Um, and when they happen, I have this thing now that is like a superpower.